Hello, so I am starting another vlog. If Monday, August 31st, and I'm actually about to film my TBR for September, and it took me so long to decide what books I wanted to read. I filmed a late August TBR, and then I like didn't get to the books, but I kind of wanted to change it up. So we'll see, but I do want to talk about, I finished House of Salt and Sorrows last night, and I freaking loved it five stars it was like a YA fantasy horror novel and like i've just kind of really been digging like horror novels set in a fantasy world lately so it was just totally up my alley for right now and i loved it i wrote a more like in-depth review on goodreads and i will film wrap up like you know eventually so yeah put it back on my shelf and what i'm reading today is i am reading let me see here I'm reading The Damned by Rene Allier and oh, good lighting. I can't figure it out on this one set. So I'm reading The Damned by Rene Allier and this is gonna be a bunny read with my friend Leah. So I'm very excited about that. And we are going to, yeah, buddy read it. We started the buddy read like a week ago and she never started it yet and I'm on 5% so yeah going great so far I kind of like do want to catch up on some of the anticipated releases that I missed like over the summer so yeah I really love the beautiful I ended up giving it five stars so I'm excited to see how the damned goes and I'm gonna take more stuff it's a book that I have on my kindle oh I also last week read Clop a New Land I wasn't vlogging last week though Rather than on my Kindle, and I got through my library with Libby, which I am trying to utilize those resources more. And I really, really loved it. I thought that the prose was beautiful, and the story of these two girls uniting in their grief was very, very touching. Um, I've never really read a book in verse before, but I just felt like it made the emotions very poignant. And I don't know, I just had such a great time with it. So, yeah, I'm uh, gonna film my tbr now and maybe i will report back later with how my reading goes but i don't know just how much reading i'm going to get done tonight because i do need to edit my tbr and maybe watch some tv i don't know but i do want to like get somewhat through the book but you know the first like five percent that i read so far is pretty good so no complaints from me and yeah, putting together my September TBR, I'm like actually really excited about the books that I'm going to read. I just feel like I'm more in my groove and again, kind of like trying to structure TBR so I'm not overwhelming myself. And you can check out my TBR shit because it should be up already. But yeah, I want to make TBRs like these are the books that are t the top priority for the month. And then if I happen to read anything else, then good on me. And you know, if I don't get to it, it's fine. But I don't want to set myself up for failure with my TBRs. And like sometimes you just want to choose a TBR and you pick a lot of books and then you never end up reading them and that's like totally okay. I just think for myself personally, like I feel bad if I don't meet my TBR. So I think kind of just like setting aside these books and being like these are the top books that I want to read this month. If I get to anything else, cool. If not, whatever is the way to go for me personally. Um, but I will see. Yep, that's it. I'll see you in the next clip. Hello vlog, it is Tuesday, September 1st. I can't believe it's already September and I got some book mail, so I wanted to open it on camera. But first I wanted to talk about The Damned. I'm 20% in and I'm not sure how I'm feeling yet because we haven't really gotten a lot of Celine, who was our main character in book one. So um, yeah, we've gotten like none of her. It's all from different characters. I'm wondering if she's even going to be in this book at all. And she's one of my favorite parts of book one. So I'm just interested to see how that's going to play out. But yeah, I need to read more to get more thoughts. But so far, I'm just kind of like, um, where is she? <laughs> but I do have a box and this is from Blackstone Publishing. So let's open it. Here we have an arc of Godstorm, which is the sequel to Shadow Frost by Coco Ma, which I read in December. This is like a very stiff arc, but I like it. Oh, it's coming out in October, which means I should maybe try and read this in September, but I just did my September TBR. However, maybe I shall stick this on the end or just swap out a book for it. I'm trying to see like what is the exact publication date. 
But yeah, so this is the sequel to Shadow Frost, which I love. I've actually met Coco Ma in person at Bacon, and she was lovely. It's like just very like good quality pages for an arc. So this one comes out, let's see, October 20th. So I will probably tackle this as like my first book in October or if I get through all of my September TBR because I really do want to try and stick to it. And obviously reading it in the beginning of October is still enough time to get a review out. It's about 400 or so pages. So yeah, I'm excited for this and I'm excited to have some book mail. Um, and the way I got this is I reached out to the publisher and they sent me a copy. So that is that. I'm gonna be going to the beach for the sunset tonight since I now live across the street from the beach. So look out for some footage for that and I will hopefully get to reading my book more on the beach especially with the kindle it's super easy to bring to the beach and you don't like worry about it getting wet or anything like that so see ya hey gabby puppy on the beach hello so it's Saturday, uh, no, August, September, September 5th, and Isabella from Thorn of Pages is hosting a 24-hour readathon, and I'm like, wow, I wanted to read all day, so I guess I'll join, and I have my little reading buddy here, this is Gavin, and he was being crazy all morning and using me as his personal chew toy, however, the second I laid down, well, I mean, sat down, I guess, to read, he decided it was nap time, which is just so great. Isn't that great, Gavin? Do you have anything you would like to say to the vlog? He's so cute. I'm obsessed with him, even when he's being rowdy. So yes, so what am I reading? Well, I have on my Kindle is mostly what I'll be reading from for this readathon because I'm finishing up the damned. I'm at 75%. When I started reading today, I was at like 65%. So I have a quarter of the book left and I think I can just like really knock it out pretty quickly if I just sit down and read and don't get distracted, which happens very frequently with me. So I need to learn to like leave my phone alone while I'm reading. So let me get Gavin in the back of the frame here because that's why you're all here, right? And then um, I want to start from Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. And I've just, I mean, she's like an author that's just been around forever and I've heard really good things about her. And I don't know, this book seems really cool. It's about, well, I guess I should tell you what The Damned is about, right? That's the sequel to The Beautiful. And it's about, oh, look at him, he's so cute. Are you cute? Yes, you are, that's my baby. So it follows Celine Rasayo as she flees Paris and goes to New Orleans and she gets like involved with this thing called Le Cor de Lions, Lions, whatever. And it's enigmatic leader, Sebastian Saint Germain, and like something's off about these people though. And yes, it's a vampire book. The first book was not heavy on the vampires at all, but I did like the way that it played out and I ended up giving it five stars. This book way way heavier on the lore and like we're learning more about Celine's past and just like about the vampires and the different creatures and it's a very different tone um I'm not sure like I'm at 75 percent depending on how it ends I don't know like what I'm gonna rate it but right now I feel like it's like a solid three stars like it's okay it didn't it's not blowing me away like the first book did just because the first book had the tension of like the murderer and like I don't know, like it was more of like a thriller because there's the suspense of like being stalked by a murderer and stuff like that. And this is taking a slightly different turn, but I am like invested enough that like I think the series is going to continue. Like I will read the next one. Um, but yeah, so those are my thoughts for. Oh, and my only complaint was the beginning did not have enough Selene in it because she's my favorite in the series. Okay, so From Blood and Ash is about like this world and. There is this maiden, and the maiden, like, you know, has to, like, be pure, like, not have any sex, apparently, like, not talk to anyone, not be touched, and she has this guard, and then she, like, gets the hots for her guard, and I don't know, something about that. So, it sounded interesting. Jennifer L. Armandrout has been, like, a staple in my eye forever, so I figured, 
why not start and it's like a 600 page book and i have it on my kindle so um we'll see how it goes but i probably i don't think i'm going to finish it today if i started today but i figure i could get like a decent chunk of the way in and then maybe i will read a manga or like something else quick I don't think I have anything from my library. Let's see. Like that I can download on Libby right now. Because sometimes I just am reading other things and then my things pass. Right now the only thing I have is The Shadows by Alex North. Which did sound interesting. But I don't know if I'm like in the mood for a horror novel right now. So maybe get to that. But let's see. The one that I really want to read this month that I have a hold on is Silence of Bones, which I'm still waiting for my copy. What else do I have on hold in my library? Okay, so what I have on hold at my library is, for right now I have The Shadows by Alex North ready to borrow. Oh, is this like, yeah, from my Florida library, apparently it doesn't deliver to Kindle, so I think I'll have to stop getting from there. So the next one I have The Silence of Bones by June Her, which is like this 1800s Korea, uh, mystery novel which just sounds really cool so I really want to read it and hopefully I will get my hold soon because I've been waiting over a month wow okay then next I have Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Barron uh, Felix Ever After by Casey and Calendar ooh up next in line uh, Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed All Boys Are in Blue by George M. Johnson which I actually got an e-arc of this somehow I, I don't know how that happened um, The Sundown Motel by Simone St. James Crave by Tracy Wolf, Sex and Vanity by Kevin Kwan, The Selection by Kara Cass, Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer, and Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. Sometimes the thing is though, when these holds come through, like I'm not necessarily like ready to read the book, so I don't always like read it when I have a hold on it, but at least I like have it here, and like if I know I'm not gonna read it, I'll just return it so the next person in line can get it. Um, but yeah. So let's see, I wonder what else they have here that looks good and i have to go to the boston one because apparently my florida one doesn't do kindle which is unfortunate um, so yeah i've been really just enjoying utilizing the kindle more um because it saves money and space and like you don't necessarily need to buy every single book that you read um i don't know if there's like anything else that intrigued me that i saw that i would want to place a hold on but yeah sometimes when i'm browsing goodreads i'll just like put a hold on something and then like if i have my hold and then it's like come through but i'm like i'm not like in the mood to read it at the moment or like i just am busy reading other things i will put it on hold just like again and again until i'm ready to read it so Kevin, he's still so cute. He's snoring. It's nap time for the baby. Yeah, it's nap time. To... <gasps> Look at how he is. Kevin, say hi to the camera. Hi, camera. Hello. Hello. <laughs> My little reading buddy. Okay. I will check back in in a little bit. <gasps> It's snuggle time with Gavin. Oh, hi. Oh, he's eating my hair. Oh, well, I guess it's playtime now. Oh, I'm a chew toy. <laughs> what are you? He's crazy. You crazy. Okay, you need a chew toy. Okay, bye bye. He's so cute. He's so cute though. Gav, Gavin, look. So cute. Oh, it's my hand. So it's like 4 p.m. now maybe, and I just finished The Damned, and um, <laughs> I think I have to give that two stars. It just had this like problem of way, way too much going on that I was just like, what? Like the first book, like everything was just so clear and like, there was just too, like you just know when like there's too many plot lines and it just drags down the story. Like that's kind of what happened here. Like I just felt like, <laughs> I was just 
just like where is this coming from and then like there was so much lore that was introduced but it's like weird because the tone of the damned and the beautiful were just so different because the beautiful was like all in new orleans and it was like this new orleans set vampire thing and now all of a sudden we're getting like all of this other stuff it was just too much of a shift in tone and like the characters i just felt like weren't acting like themselves and like I just felt rushed. Like, I don't know. It just didn't feel like... It just didn't feel the same way. And I will write a review later and, like, put out more of my thoughts. But, um, it's getting two stars because <laughs> I don't know what that was. So, next, let's see. Mm -hmm. Book complete. I kind of like having the Kindle, like, out of the case. When I read it, ooh, my Kindle's on 12%, so I think I should charge it while I read something else. From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Okay, it's gonna mark it as currently reading. Yeah, I'm about to start this. It's like 600 something pages, so it's gonna take me a while, so that's why I gotta charge my Kindle. So, what should I read in the meantime? I, maybe I should take a break and like watch some videos while it's charging instead of like doing that but yes um i could read monstrous number four i don't know if i'm reading for monstrous i could also read yuna of the dog playing five and I think this could be a good change of pace. Yeah, I'll, do, I'll read this. I'll read this. Okay. That's all for now, folks. Gotta let my Kindle charge. Hi, Gavin. How's it going? Good boy. You're so cute. Okay, so let's update this Goodreads. <laughs> oh yeah, I broke my phone this morning, so that's fun. Um, okay. Mm, update progress. I finished this book. Two stars. Yeesh. Okay, and I already marked from Blood and Ash as being red because I, um, well, I have not touched that book because I opened it on my Kindle connected to Wi-Fi. So now let's search. Ooh. Yo, no. Volume. It's kind of hard to type when I'm typing through the camera. Okay, this is not going well. But. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, say hello to the vlog. Oh my god, hi! Wait, I need to see what's going on. We are doing reading sprints via FaceTime because we're too distracted otherwise. So, Isabella, tell the vlog yes. what you are reading right now. I am reading The Rise of Kiyoshi, written by FCE and the co-creator of Avatar The Last Airbender. I really need to read this book. Yes, you do. So, I mean, I've only, I've read less than 100 pages, but I'm loving it. Yeah, Avatar Ki Kiyoshi is iconic. I, maybe I'll, um, I'll put it on hold through Libby so I can read yes. it. And then I'm reading, let's see, From Blood and Ash. I started it, it's so good already. It's so good. Her writing is like very addicting. I can read it too. So, yep, that's that's it for the update now, folks. See you later. Bye. Hello, friends. So it's now almost 1 a.m. and I'm at 20% of from uh, Blood and Ash, and it is so good so far. So it started out with this scene that was very steamy and I'm like, ooh, I am drawn in.
from the start because you know i love a good steamy scene but now we're getting more into the lore of the world and it's very interesting the way that it works because there's this like ascension and i guess they become immortal in the ascension but like she's giving you enough detail that you're intrigued but not enough to just like give away everything so you want to keep reading to know more and we're getting more into the plot and like it's just so well written so i can understand why jennifer l armentrout is a staple in the YA community and i can't believe i haven't read any of her books before <laughs> if i enjoy them just as much as i'm enjoying this one then can't complain so yeah i'm on page 94 which is 21 percent of the book and it's it's really great so far like i could just see myself reading this all day tomorrow but apparently tomorrow i'm gonna go like get a car so that's gonna take some time but uh yeah oh <sighs> so um yes I'm getting tired, so I'm going to watch an episode of this TV show that I've been watching, and then I'll go to bed. Maybe I'll read in bed, because I'm, like, literally so into this. And, like, I took a- I slept late today, and then I took a nap, so <laughs> I gotta go to Hello, it's Monday, September 7th, and I need to absolutely scream over this book, which is From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is, like, so far, and I'm at, um, what percent? <clears throat> 58% and it might be one of my favorite books of the year. I am like, it's everything that I love in a fantasy and just the romance is so good. The sexual tension is immaculate. I am going to make everyone that I know read this book because I, I just love it so much. The second book is already out. <laughs> I ordered a physical copy. I'm like annotating in my Kindle and I'll probably like transfer over my annotations to the book when I get it because I already ordered it because if it's my favorite book I need to be able to like have it in my possession you know and I just really love it it's so 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 good like I do not want to stop reading because I love it so much like I'm <sighs> I'm floored. So yeah. Um, so yeah. Basically, I spent all day yesterday reading this book because I couldn't put it down. And uh, so I feel like this is a pretty good like reading vlog. I read The Damned. I read From Blood and Ash. I read Eon of the Dawn Volume Five. So like, we're we're doing good. And um, I had a nice long three day weekend. I participated in Isabella's 24 hour marathon and that was so so much fun. So yes, I'm so happy. I have like some stuff to do today, but I really like want to finish this because like I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. It's so good. Like I, I it's just like it has like enough intrigue. Okay, so first of all, sexual tension between the two immaculate. So we have Poppy, she's a maiden. And there are these people called the Ascended, and they're like immortal, and like so everyone has to give their second, third, and fourth something daughters to be like to ascend. But it's like you don't really know what happens when they ascend. And Poppy has this gift where she can like sense the emotions of others, and like there's just a lot of intrigue, and it's like enough that keeps you wanting. It's like enough to inform you of the world, but like that you keep on a to wanting to read to find out like more of exactly what's happening like it's just done so well the world building where it's not like too info dumpy and it's like enough to keep you like hooked and i'm just i'm hooked on this book i love it new favorite um i'm so happy that the second book is already out and like if this is like what her writing is like i definitely need to read more of her books because i've never read a jennifer l armentrout book before in my life which like what have i been doing i don't know so yeah, I'm gonna go for now because my camera's almost dead and I will update you as I read more. I, maybe I will finish this today, maybe not because I do have some other things to take care of, but it's been fun.